Hello and welcome to my channel again. This is Jennifer Velasquez Music and today we're going to get into our uh, piano tutorial lesson number two. On the piano we have white keys and we have black keys and each one of these keys we can recognize because they have a name. Now here in America we use the letter system where each note could be a letter like A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. But in other countries, we use other systems like Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, which we call solfege, right? And doesn't matter what you use, doesn't matter how, which uh, system you wanna use, it's the same thing. So if you're in front of your piano right now, I want you to look at your black keys and you'll see that you have two groups groups of three black keys and groups of two. Every two and three, two and three, two and three. It just repeats, it's just a pattern, right? So it, it doesn't mean that we have this many notes, it's, we only have uh, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, or a, b, c, d, e, f, g, and then it starts again, a, b, c, d, e, f, g, a, b, c, d, e, f, g. Now, um, I want you to, in front of the piano, I want you to find the groups of black keys and play them, all of them, starting from the lower to the higher. Uh, in the piano, if you're in front of your piano, all the notes, so you're in the center, from your right hand, it goes higher. So the notes go higher. Right? And everything from the left, from the middle to the left, the notes go down. So down to the left, higher to the right. So let's find this group of two black keys. We start from lower. You're gonna play them at the same time. And then I want you to find the group of three. I know it doesn't sound pretty, but I just want you to see it. I want you to get familiar with it. I want you to get, be a little bit more free in front of your piano. Something else that we should add when it comes to reading music on the piano is that we use the treble clef to, for the right hand. So pretty much from the middle of the piano to the right hand of the piano, we play with the right hand, we read those notes on the treble clef. And from the middle of the piano to the left, using our left hand, we use the bass clef. So pretty much when you play piano, each one of the hands is reading a different clef. Um, for example, let's say that your right hand, uh, it's reading English and your left hand is reading Spanish. So you're using two different languages on the same staff, the same music. Uh, that's why, I mean, I think music is beautiful and it's hard at the same time, but that's pretty much what's happening when it comes to reading music. Your right hand is reading something completely different than your left hand, but you'll get used to it. Let's start with the right hand warm-up exercise. You're gonna find your uh, key of C, which is right next to the group of two. So find in the middle of the piano the group of two black keys, and the first white key next to it, that's gonna be your C. Remember, your hand has to uh, cannot be flat on the piano. Remember that you you have to kind of imagine that you are holding a ball, right, or um, an egg, right. So that's the position of your hand. Do not put your fingers flat. Remember, it's at the, with the tip of your fingers. So let's do our C with our finger one, which is a thumb. D right next to it, E, F, and G. So pretty much C, D, E, F, G. Those are on the only five notes we're going to use for, for our warm-up. And then we're going to go backwards. G, F, E, D, C. Then we're gonna go to the right and we're gonna go to the left. Then 
Let's do it again. This is just a warm up. Now to warm up our left hand, we're going to use the same notes, but not on the middle of the piano, but an octave lower. Right, so you're gonna find the other group of two black uh, keys, and then the first white key next to it, that's gonna be your C. But we're not gonna play that C with our thumb. We're gonna go backwards. We're gonna play with our pinky, which is our uh, finger number five, four, three, two, one. So the pinky is gonna be on the C, D, E, F, and G. backwards now we're gonna go up and down now we're gonna try to put it together and I understand this could be a little bit more advanced so if you need to stop and just practice the right hand first and then the left hand until you have it when you are sure that you have it then you can try to put it together Thank you so much for watching. This is just a little video with some warm ups and some information that I wanted to give to you. It's important that we warm up just as we as we warm up our voices when we sing. We also warm up a little bit with our hands and our fingers to make sure that we're not tense before we play any other uh, song. Now, if you already know how to play piano and you're just looking for another kind of warm up, remember you can do the same exercise in different rhythms, different tempo. Let's see that you already know how to do this. You can do it faster. You can do dotted rhythms. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you liked it. I hope you can practice and hope, I hope you can warm up with me on your piano at home. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Leave me a comment and share with your friends. See you next time.